On today's episode of Watch Share Go, we work on another Falcon. What is going on guys? I watched Jay Ergo and today we are here with another one of Josh's Falcons, another 61. This is the Blue Falcon, that's our uh, name for it. It's uh, a pretty uh, apt name because it's a Blue Falcon. So, Josh got this running the other day. He had four different starters. We uh, went on a mission to pick up some transmissions and starters the other day and he had four of them sitting here and not a single one of them would start the thing. So he bought a new starter after checking all of them and found out it, the starter was the problem. Pretty crazy to have four bad ones, but uh, after putting a starter on it, it's got a brand new battery in it. Tons of the lines are new. It looks like it has a new fuel pump that was done before he got the car. Distributor cap's new. Uh, somebody had swapped this to electronic ignition. The points are out of there, which is pretty cool. And uh, he put a piece of fuel line on here, kept cranking on it and started right up. Well, after like <laughs> three minutes of cranking, right? Yeah. Good old mechanical fuel pumps. Today, we're gonna take the two-speed transmission out of this guy and swap it over to a three-speed transmission. And uh, there's two of those outside. So let's go take a look at that and uh, then get to swapping. And here we have the transmission selection. This is the two-speed that just came out of it. And this is a three-speed and this is a three-speed. That two-speed, the flywheel was cracked and was making like a giant racket when the engine was running. So it got shut down real quick. And now we've got another flywheel that was on this transmission. That's going in, and then this transmission's going in. So uh, I think we've decided to go with the cleanest one. This one's been all cleaned up, and it has the uh, trans cooler lines on it still. And the other one has the linkage. The linkage just need to move around. But uh, yeah, take a look at that. Nice and clean, ready to go in. Uh, well, pretty much ready to go in, and we're gonna stab it right now. Watch out, wire, there we go. Cool. Precariously balanced transmission here. That's how they do it in the factory. Is that? That's it? Yeah, yeah. I've seen how they do it, and yeah, it seems right. <laughs> just a little, uh, just a two by four to make sure it's even more uh, tippy. Yeah. We also just found out the engine's been rebuilt. It has a tag on it. It has all the uh, specs stamped into it. Pretty cool. Uh, and we've got this zip tie for some reason <laughs> that I can't get off. These wire cutters are, uh, yeah, not great. Here we go. Zip tie flings out, hits everybody in the face. Okay, now spin this around, slide it under the car, and in she goes. We do have uh, flywheels outside. Here's the destroyed flywheel off the car. You can see all the bolt uh, holes there have been ate away completely. And here is the much nicer flywheel with intact bolt holes. So it's ready to go on. A few seconds later, and we got the lines off. We had to use a half inch line wrench to uh, get all the trans cooler lines off right there. And we pulled the dipstick out and it's ready to slide in. Oops, sorry. <laughs> it's ready to slide in. Kicking the jack around. What are you doing under there? Oh, just trying to blindly thread the bolts into the flywheel. Sounds fun. Yeah. Look at that big Ford MoCo. <laughs> All right, here we go. Nice. All right. Oh wait, it's not in yet. <laughs> a couple more things to do. It did scratch your floor all up. Is there like a nail in that plywood? Uh, no, it's just like a piece of dirt or something. Wow. It's 10 times harder than epoxy. <laughs> not too much. We both grab it on one end and just lift it up like a boss. <laughs> Get these little arms. No way. Okay. Uh, Here you go. We're gonna get the plywood under it. Plywood might be a pipe dream. Maybe so. You can get it under the pan. Oh, I'm under the pan, but it's dumping. Nice. That worked out pretty well. That's what they make rags for. Yep. Time for some cleanup. I forgot to pull the dipstick tube out. Aisle three. Oh yeah, yeah. I was trying to. It wouldn't fit without taking the dipstick yeah. tube out. All right, a little bit of cleanup. We're gonna jack that thing up. Slide the bolts in. This is actually like a really simple job. These Falcon guys say it's a direct bolt up to go from the two speed to the three speed. If you use the early three speed. Ah. Uh, which I think we have. Gotcha. Ready? Yep. And yeah, we were like lined up. How did that happen? Uh, it does have to go up though, right? The back does make it a bolt on here. Oh, huh. No, yeah, it just lined right up. 
It seemed like the dowel was way off the middle over here. It's got like a good inch to go. Hey! With arms like these, I only have to like, only use stubbies or break all the bolts off. <laughs> Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Some comment once said, "This guy's a liar. Everything just works for him every time." <laughs> that's really man. That's called YouTube magic. All right. Jack coming out. I'm a little scared about not having that top bolt in there, but hmm. we got four total. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so we got two of four in. That's mostly there. Yeah. Halfway. All right. Free. Uh, I guess I could slide under here. Put the drive shaft in. We're gonna move the camera down to drive shaft land. Oh, that's got a cap that fell off. A uh, cap that fell off? Yeah, you see it laying over there? Oh, I do. Way back there? Yep, so we'll have to put the needle. I grabbed all the needles. Gotcha. You're wishing you hadn't volunteered to do drive shaft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never mind, I'm out. <laughs> all right, let me uh, go all the way around the back of the car and get this cap. Here's that drive shaft cap. There's all those pins. We've got a workbench right here, also known as a shop towel. Knock all the pins out of here, clean this guy up. We'll go grab another shop towel, get it all cleaned out, and then we can fill this with grease and start resetting all the pins. I think this even working is kind of a stretch, but we're gonna try. I want the negativity. You'd be positive about this, this nonsense job. You're positive that's not gonna work. See? Turn it around. <laughs> sloppy mechanics, man. Yep. If there's anything that would fit in on the old sloppy mechanics Facebook page, it is this job right here. Halfway done. There you go. That's a needle bearing repack. Uh, will it work? Nobody knows. It worked. The uh, U joint cap actually went on. I'm kind of. Uh, Surprised in reality. So now we're gonna hop back under the car and stab this drive shaft in there. Just tell me it fits. Don't fit. Oh no. Just kidding. Early cars are 24 spline, the later cars are 26 spline. Is that for real? Yeah. I thought you were just making a, <laughs> no. a spline count. No. I, I did a little bit of research. It's turning the transmission. It is turning the transmission. That's what's weird. Yeah. You, you can feel the spines trying to grab. Yeah. I think we're going to have to get a different yoke. Ah. On the upside, Ford made like 100 million of his transmissions. <laughs> On the downside, I just repacked that U joint for no reason. <laughs> this drive shaft back here. Oh, yeah, that's thicker. It looks huge. That's a big boy. I wonder what that's for. If nothing else, we could probably swap the yoke. When I was pushing it, I was kind of visually measuring, and it did look like it was close. Look at that. <laughs> Future me, thank you. Oh, wow. I think it's exactly the right length. Were you rolling for that? That's Yeah, that's impressive. Uh, I have to get all this duct tape off the U-joint on the new one. Yeah, what's going on down there? What'd you do to get this thing in there? <laughs> Is it too long? Uh, I don't know if it's too long. It's so close. Well, the transmission bolts are in, so Josh is sticking the starter back in for the last time. And we're gonna start this thing up for you guys. Uh, we don't need to because the drive shaft doesn't fit. Uh, we're gonna work on that tomorrow, but that's all it needs to go down the road at this point. Starter is in. Nice. Need some tools now? Yeah, right under the car, of course. There's that gigantic starter. And if you guys thought I was kidding about this nonsense, there's a starter. Here's a starter. Here's a brand new starter that was DOA from Rock Auto. I shipped one back to Rock Auto as a core and I gave one to uh, <laughs> oh. as a core. Yeah, okay. So, and then two cores are gone. The last piece of the magic here. It's gonna be a little loud. Cold start. <laughs> well, it's not hooked up anymore. Oh, do you need to pump it by hand? Yeah. I can try to run it. Ready? Yeah, do you need choke or you can run it inside? I guess you can run it. Okay. Clear. It really does run well. No more noises. Ready to go down the road, that's awesome. All it needs is a drive shaft and it's actually ready to go down the road. Oh, and look at that, it can really idle instead of that 3,000 RPM idle. Oh yeah, it's got that big nasty cam in it. 
<laughs> it really does run well. Yeah. Impressive. This thing's got a finger killer right there, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. That is it for today, guys. This Falcon will be back on the road soon and then for sale. So if you want it, uh, I guess hit Josh up or, uh, well, shoot me an email and I'll forward it to Josh because you don't know how to get a hold of Josh. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do and I will talk to you next time. I just wanted to drive this thing, man. No. We're gonna have to drive it later in the week. Even if I just had like manually put it in drive. Right, it would be fine. Yeah, if the drive shaft right. was there. Yep. Oh well, we gotta hook up the trans cooler still. Trans cooler in the drive shaft. Yep. Yeah. Tomorrow I'll get the cooler on and I will figure out the linkage. Sweet. Oh yeah, I guess it does have a new engine in it, huh? Doesn't look too bad. Newish.